Hi, I'm Julie Coletto from the Swifts and I'm going to show you a few things that we can do with our roller to get ready for training or as a recovery after training as well. At the Swifts we use these all the time, before gym sessions, after gym sessions and before court work. We travel with them as well, we always pack them in our bag. Today I've got the Skills one who's a fabulous supporter of the Swifts and they've provided us all with a roller to use. So I'll show you a few different techniques that you can use. Use it on your legs, you can release your IT bands, which I use quite a lot, um, connecting your kneecaps. You can use it on your quads, you can roll all the way up to use it on your shins. Um, you can roll over and use it on your hamstrings as well. Getting a good release of the massage, so it's like a self-massage, which is really, really cool. Go down to your calves. You can spend hours on one of these things and it's really handy for triggering um, some of those sore muscles that you've got after playing or releasing them before you're training or playing. And you can also use it on your back as a nice stretch or a nice muscle release. Another little thing I add in is this little ball here from Skills and I put it under my back to release my back as I'm rolling on my foam roller. But if you don't have one of these, you could easily tie two tennis balls together with some strapping tape or just use one tennis ball to release some trigger points.